They come from 36 states and three countries. For three days, they have played for the chance to reach the championship round, to claim that they are the best young football players in the world. They have come to the Pro Football Hall of Fame for a chance of a lifetime to compete where their Hall of Fame heroes are enshrined and then walk the hallways of the hall with their championship trophy. This is a presentation of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Hello and welcome to Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium for the second World Youth Football Championship. Happy holidays everyone, I'm Jameer Howerton and I'm so great to be with you here today on the CBS Sports Network, the official network of youth initiatives for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And joining me on the call today is NFL legend and former Cleveland Browns general manager, Mr. Ray Farmer, who has devoted the past two years of his life really building this game at its core. Welcome, Ray. Jameer, I appreciate the tremendous introduction. Uh, legend, probably not, but nonetheless, I'm excited to be here and continue to work towards trying to build youth football here in the great state of Ohio and beyond. Well, Ray, let's jump right into it. We got two great matchups, but let's talk about the 12U first, the Bridgeport Chargers versus the MOT Elite. What do you like about these two teams? Again, when you get down to the football basics of what these teams are going to do, you're going to see ground and pound, run the football, focus on the run game, focus on your big guys, being disciplined up front. Um, and that's really what this game is going to come down to in a lot of respects is who can maintain gap integrity on defense, which, again, we heard both coaching staffs last night talk about the, di the discipline and the detail necessary to fill gaps and people make plays that they're required to make uh, differently than when you play the athletic game, more the RPO game, which I think most people see now at the high school, college, and beyond level, throwing the ball in space. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see kind of how people handle that. Now the next game is the 14U, the Westland Meteors versus the Spring Valley Hornets. What do you, like, what do you like about these two clubs? Same situation. Mm -hmm. Hate to be redundant, but again, a lot of these youth teams focus on running the ball, getting the ball in the hands of their athletes. And again, quarterback play. Who's going to be able to manage the quarterback play the best? Specifically if the, if the elements start to deteriorate throughout the course of the day. But... Again, both teams want to be physical. Both teams want to play at the line of scrimmage. Both teams have some size. Excited to see where both of these teams go because all four of these clubs, whether it be Bridgeport, whether it be uh, Westland, whether it be MOT, or whether it be Spring Valley, they've all earned the right to get here. And now we're excited to see kind of who walks away with the championships. Absolutely, Ray. Thank you for that. Thank you. Well, when we come back, we'll roll on with more World Youth Football Championship right here from the most inspiring place on earth, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. National Youth Football World Championships on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Johnson Controls Hall of Fame Village, the first ever sports and entertainment smart city. 